Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Beefers and here you will see mostly unboxing of online products, learn different kinds of geeks, tricks, and tips in line with electronics, gaming, and other cool related ideas. Today, since we have finished checking and testing this item, the Extreme Extension siguro to, EXT MIG220 MINI, a MIG welding machine. Uh, flux cord siya guys, ibig sabihin. Wala siyang uh, gas or gasless siya yung gamit natin. Sa mga gust, uh, DIY series Japan na nakalagay guys, um, Japan, uh, baka lagay lang, nilagay lang ito nila na uh, Japan. So, eto guys, this video is all about what's inside of this welding machine. First, yan yung... Yan yung palibot niya guys. Dito siya as we check. As we check last time, yeah. Yan. Yan yung sa loob, okay? Then may upi eh dito. Kapan shipment yan guys. Yan yung sa harap. There. Uh, since lahat ng mga electronics dito is nasa dito na part, ito yung tatanggalin natin, okay? And guys, So, yan yung sa loob guys. Kailangan natin tanggalin yung anim na screws. There. Then, what's inside? So, let's sabayan nyo ako mag-check guys. Let's pagiging inspector tayo nito. There guys. Yan yung sa loob nya. Ito yung fan. There. Yan. Yung fan niya guys is as you can see yan AC siya 220 yung tapos 8.5 watts siya guys kalagay yeah. then may transformer siya guys kaya mabigat yung kilo nito is 13.5 kilos guys dahil yan siya dyan ewan ko mga ilang turns yan siya na wire yung malaki there dyan yung mga electronics nya at saka parang di naman, ito lang man yata yung may electronics guys yan electronics nya yan parang simple lang guys ano may fuse may ano ba ito ito yan ano Basta yan siya guys uh, BT151 Parang iwan ko ano yung transistor yan Then may resistor sa dito na 10 10 watts Then Ah so ito siya Since dito siya nakalagay Ito Ito siya potentiometer to guys Connected siya dito so, yung isa nyan is reference. Ayan. Ayan. Ito siya yung nagda-drive dito. So, kukontrolin niya yung pag-ikot nyan. Kung ilang amperahe or change of current. Then, punta diyan. Then, there. Then, may, kapasi may, may kapasitor tayo dito. So, ito na siyempre kailangan din ng kapasitor ba sa mga may motors then yan may ano yun ba yan apat sya na connectors kapuntang dito dito so yan pero yung apat na yun saan ba yan kalim yung dalawang black ibig sabihin na uh, yung black na yan yan itong 
wala black na to walang polarity to guys uh, isa siyang DC motor guys na 24 volts so dito nire-regulate niya yung 24 volts dyan eh iwan ko lang kung may circuit pa sa likod parang wala naman yan then there ito yung switch eh ito siya guys, parang selector, selector switch yan siya guys, and yung and cannot zoom in there mm -hmm. yan, may 3 horsepower, 8 pH, 1 pH kung ano kaya nakalagay lalagyan nga, pipicturean ko yun guys and then ito isang switch lang then, then ito guys yan, air vent <laughs> nilalabasan ng air tapos ito sya, ano ito ah, yan, dito na yung yan, ito yan yung isa nyan is ground so what's the ground, ito yung ground guys, ground side yan, yan yung ground side tapos, so isa nito yan medyo matigas sya guys, pero pagdating dito, but ma medyo soft na sya uh, dito siguro sila nag connect guys, yan ayun yan yung pinag connect nila na wire from here to there And then my aha ano ba yan sa so, selector nya uh, yung main current natin from 220 galing dito pasok sa dian tapos ito indicator lang to na naka on LED power indicator okay And, yan power indicator yan sya ito and then since 220 rin ito guys yan saan ba yung wire nito blue may tatlong wire sya guys except nito ah, dalawa lang pala guys ito dalawa lang eto, ito yung main okay then parang pag on nyo to nyo guys direct sya dyan, punta doon common lang man yan sya and then pasok dito yung mga pasok dito kung ano yung sinelect nyo na amperahe so every, wind, every wire nito may winding sya 1, 2, 3, 4 so may apat sya na windings yun yung 48, 80, 120, at yung direct 220. So, yung direct 220. Okay? Then, yun siya. Pag-select nyo dyan, galing dito, saan na yung ground nyan yung isang wire na ito ito man sya sa, sa blue, ito yung blue na side then itong anong kulay na ito ito na sya papunta dito there may ewan ko kung ano yung nasa loob nyan yan uh, hindi ko makita guys eh there so hindi natin alam kung anong nandyaan basta inline rin yan sya sa pa, uh, parang syempre neutral at saka live ito yung live, pasok diyan la 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 then ano pa yung doon sa loob hindi ko nakita so ito yung keep, ito yung may dahilan sa pag change change ng ng amperahe yan may apat dapat lima eh so yung 220 direct siguro 
Oh, hindi ko lang alam kung amperahe ba ito or voltage. Again, 220, 20 amps volts. Anyway, sabi kasi nung isang YouTuber, nung dito, is voltage daw. Siguro, voltage. So, yan. Voltage selector siya. Sana ba yung manual nito? Ayan, base sa manual, guys. Ayan. 48 to 220 yung range nya. So, tama tayo. Ang pirahe yan sya dyan. Kukonvert lang dyan. Tapos, para hindi masyado ito malakas talaga ito kakain guys kasi meron tayong inductor dito or transformer not like the inverter na uh, almost electronics na lahat so yan may ano ba to step up step down parang step up yata to pero yung current yung malakas ano ba anyway that's all guys <laughs> asensya na Hopefully, kung may mga mali man akong nasabi guys, lamang idea ko lang to and you may correct me if I'm wrong. So, yan lang yung mga details natin sa inside of this um, welding machine, the extreme MIG welding machine. Okay? And, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Be You First. Bye-bye.